Minecraft multiplayer is the best way to play the game. But just what if you're tired of playing Hypixel over and over and over and over again? And you just don't want to give away your kidneys to host your own server on Realms or use an overpriced server renting service. Well, hopefully this tutorial will help show you the best way to host your very own server with the ability to use custom plugins, maps and even mods in the simplest way possible. This tutorial will require the Ubuntu Linux operating system as it's the easiest and most simple way to set up a server. So I guess let's get started, right? So step one, make a new folder. I'm going to call this private server. So... Very simple, very easy, just create a folder. Now you've done that, you want to go to my first link in the description, which should take you to this website here. So, uh, code codemc.io spottedleaf to entity. Now this is going to be the software of the server. So each Minecraft server requires software to be built upon to actually run the thing. So we want to click on this link here, and then you want to do save file, press OK, and it will appear up here. So Firefox is the default sort of browser for Ubuntu. So if we minimize that, and then we go to the private server, open this folder here, and then we just move this over here, click this, and then drag it in here. Okay? You can see it's got a one here, because I've already downloaded this before for my other Minecraft servers that I run. Recommend it 100%. Twinity is just so much better. We're going to get Twinity, and boom, look at that. It's kind of the best at the market for high player counts. So it's what I recommend. So we can close that down now. And then we can go on to stage two. Stage two is basically just press this button here. So you've got desktop, private server, open in terminal. The second thing in the description, it will be this command that I would like you to paste in. I've got the command here. So you just need to type in or paste in Java, because Java is how you run Minecraft servers. Do dash paper clip dot jar so this bit here determines how much ram your system will be using so for me i'm using two gigabytes of ram uh twenty paperclip dot jar we're getting this kind of error here very simple to fix that uh, all you just have to do is spell it right because i misspelled it so enter that in you'll see this thing up come up here so it's cache downloading vanilla jar patching vanilla jar and you just let let this let this run and then it will stop the server because it will uh, get the uh, EULA that you need to agree to. So it's just generating all the files at the moment. As you can see, we've started the server. Basically, you've done the most e the easiest step. You can see, server.properties and fail to uh, load EULA because they've just generated in now. So if we click on here, we just simply need to do one easy thing. Change this to true. So click save, X that off. Minimize our little startup commands because we'll need that for later. You've agreed to that, we can do the search feature. We can find ourselves the MOTD. So if we just do find MOTD, that is the message of the day. So you can see why I'm doing this. So we change this to private server for video. Exclamation mark. Now, what this this will do is when you you know you've got a server like Hypixel, for example, you have that bit underneath it, right? Uh, this is what that MSD message of the day. That's what it stands for. Now you want to press save. You've already done your ports. So if you if you're just uh, starting this off, you've done no port forwarding. So you just leave that as two five five six five. You know, just leave it as that. So save that again. Close that and close without saving because I we've already got it basically copied. Then you want to do is to type clear, just to make it nice and tidy, and then enter that in again. So you just you just type clear, and then you press the up arrow, and it cycles through all your commands. So then we'll just wait for this to go, and I'll be back when it's all generated all of your config. Now, that should take a few seconds, because, well, it's like super small. You should have this nice, nice little GUI. This is what the GUI thing is. If you haven't done it, it'll just all be in here. This is all you'll have. Um, you can see... Uh, this is the, the GUI, so that's the Java thing. This is your server. You started up. Congratulations. Um, as you can see, very simple, very easy to do. If we go over here, you have your world, world never, world the end. These are all your world files. And now you can also add plugins as well. So this is just a, a thing just to measure the plugins you have and stuff. It comes with every server. Uh, it's generated. You've done it. Now... You, of course, you want to play on your server, so you're going to have to port forward for that. Um, 
it's the only way, unfortunately, you're going to have to do it. Every Minecraft server ever has done it, so it's completely safe, uh, just so you can trust it. Now, it's as simple as that. Just basically download that thing, run the command, you have a Minecraft server. It's that simple. Uh, none of that faffing around. Of course, if you want to stop your thing, so just go in here, or your terminal, and type the words stop. And, see, stopping server, saving the world, closed. And of course, your GUI will close as well. Done. So you've closed your server. Just remember to type clear again, just to make it nice and tidy. And, um, just paste that in again. I recommend having a nice little uh, Word document or something, uh, or like a little uh, text document that just has that command in, so you can just paste it in every time. You've got a micro server. How do you feel? Uh, probably pretty cool. You probably want to see what this, how to join it. So, step one, you want to go to your Firefox web browser, or whatever you're using on Ubuntu, um, and you want to type in, what's my uh, public IP address, okay? Uh, you want to enter that, and then you want to you want to click this link here. I'll also link this in the, uh, the description as well. You'll click that, and it should probably begin with 86 or something, and then you'll use that. You'll go over to Minecraft, right? Paste that in, and uh, there you go. I guess we should probably open Minecraft now and uh, join the server. Now, before we go over to the the Minecraft and test out the server, another thing that you can do to make your, I guess, make it more of your own server. Uh, you know, if we just stop it, just doing the good old stop command, close that, and we go over to our private server folder. Uh, you can add yourself a nice server logo. Now, if you wonder how you do that, right? So go get yourself an image. It has to be, uh, it has to be. If you go to main server icon .png, it has to be called server icon .png. Okay. Uh, it has to be 64 by 64 pixels. Um, but other than that, that's the only restrictions. So you can make anything within 64 by 64 pixels, and it has to be called server icon .png. So if we just copy this over, uh, and we just uh, paste this in here, so you've got server icon .png, and if we close this, and we close this again, clear, and then we start it up, we can then go over to Minecraft, and I'll show you using our IP4 address that we, IPv6 or whatever, that we found using whatsmyip.com, put that in the, in the, your, um, make a thing, and I'll show you. Thank <laughs> you. 